What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and the 30th of this month will mark the one year anniversary of the final universes episode, Jin vs. Raven. So I'm gonna celebrate this one year anniversary by sharing the 60 plus unused episodes of universes that I never got around to, and you are free to use them for your versus show, or blog, or whatever you want to do with them. Because again, despite universes being done for a year now, people are still asking where it is and where's the next one, so hopefully this will finally get the idea across that there is not going to be a next one. However, there is something I want to say regarding me and verses, but you'll have to wait till the end for that. Or just skip ahead. Whatever. Anyways, let's get started with these unused universes episodes. Oh boy, so we got 62 of these things to go through. And we're already off to a great start with 3-2-1 penguins versus the penguins of Madagascar. Um, surprisingly, I think the 3-2-1 penguins actually win this one. They've got some crazy MFTL plus stuff, and I think they held up the weight of the moon at one point, or like they survived having the weight of the moon pressed down on them, so they got some moon level stuff too somewhere. Um, but yeah, an interesting one. This one, All Might versus Captain Falcon. Um, I don't know how close this was. I don't know. I didn't know much about either at the time I made it. It just sounded like a cool matchup, so that's pretty much how that one happened. Uh, then we got Amy versus Sakura. Pretty obvious matchup theme wise. Sakura wins, I believe. Maybe Amy. It seems pretty close. Um, I'm leaning more towards Sakura though, but I wouldn't be surprised if Amy won. Uh, Apes versus Rabbids. These are both more insane than I initially thought, but unfortunately, Rabbids do edge out. I do like Rabbids too a lot, but Ape Escape is definitely my favorite out of the two. So I would have wanted the Apes to win, but I think Rabbids definitely win this one from scaling to Rayman, who has some galaxy level stuff. Um, oh, I just spit on my screen. Uh, but here we have Aureli versus Puka. This is one of the newer ones I came up with because my best friend in the whole world, Joey, got me way into Puka. And this was like the first matchup I could think of. I think it's pretty even too. They both have some insane Toon Force universe breaking fourth wall meta stuff going on. Interesting. Oh. The one we left on, Batman vs. Snake. Now people have been asking me, like, if I had done this episode... Who would have won? And I'm gonna say Snake. Snake would have won. I can't remember where it was, but there was some crazy big boss feat that Snake can scale to where like big boss lifted a Metal Gear or something. I don't remember exactly what happened, but it was enough to get Snake the win. And even though everyone was saying Batman was gonna win, it just gave Snake a huge stat advantage, so he ended up winning. Here we got another new one, one of my favorites, Chef Hatchet from Total Drama vs. Afro Samurai. I came up with this one after the Samurai Jack vs. Afro Samurai death battle. And they were actually surprisingly even, I think? Um, Chef might win, because there's some debatable faster than light Total Drama stuff. We'll have to see. <laughs> uh, and here is Composite Ryu vs. Composite Jin. This was going to be episode 100, if universes ever made it that far. And thankfully, Composite Jin won. woo hoo 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 Because the funny thing is, both of their strongest incarnations are in the same thing. And Jin is the one with the better stats there, and he also has the superior powers anyways, even if their stats were equal there. So, he pretty much edges out. <laughs> Like, I know Ryu has so many more crossovers to choose from than Jin, but their strongest ones are the same one. So that's that's pretty funny. Uh, then we got Crunch versus Korra. People are confused whenever I talk about this matchup, but it's like, hello, Crunch and the Elementals, come on. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty good matchup theme-wise, and I think it's actually pretty even too. I'm not sure who wins this one, but I'm hoping it's Crunch, because Korra, as fine as she looks, is a terrible character. <laughs> uh, then we got Deadpool vs. The Mask. Um, one I really wanted to get around to, but never did, because I just have trouble sticking to comics and stuff because of my eyeballs. Reading, too much reading, eh. 
Poor eyesight, vision strains. Bleh. Then we got Death versus Panty. Uh, this one was going to be one of my earliest ones, like back in the fictional fights days. But then Soul Eater bored me to death, so that kind of happened. Oh yeah, Disney Princess Battle Royale. I was going to steal that from Death Battle because they stole a matchup from one of my friends. So it was like some dumb revenge scheme. But turns out I never got around to it either. Ha ha ha. Oh well. Uh, then we got Dororo versus Greninja. I'm not even certain what Greninja's stats are or if this is even close. I just thought, hey, blue ninja frogs. Yeah. Uh, then we got Elsa and Sub-Zero. I almost said Scorpion for a second. Uh, Elsa wins. That was the joke. The princess beat the extremely violent and brutal Mortal Kombat guy. Enid versus Shantae. This one was solely based off purple hair. Super dumb idea. Um, but I guess it was it would be a cool fight to watch. Father versus Aku. Man, I really wish I got around to this one. This one is so cool. So cool. I think it was actually a pretty close matchup too. Because Father pulls out some crazy stuff like right at the end of the series that puts him on par with Aku. Uh, we'll have to see if someone else does it. Then we got Sue versus Beast Boy. The connection here was animal people. That's it. Genie versus fairies. Yeah, that's pretty obvious connection. Powerful, magical, famous cartoon magic entity people. Magic poof poof. Yeah. Uh, then we got Gorillas versus Vocaloid. It wasn't 2D versus Hatsune Miku. It was just the entirety of Gorillas versus the entirety of Vocaloid. I know there's a lot more Vocaloid characters than Gorillas characters, but Gorillas absolutely curb stomp. But the funny thing is, even though Gorillas stomps and like stats, the fight was actually just gonna be a music battle, which is completely stupid because music is like one of the most objective or subjective things ever. I forget the meanings of each. They're switching around in my brain. Whichever one's more opinionated. Music is, like, one of the most opinionate, opinionated things ever. So I was gonna pull, like, some... Well, Gorillaz sold this many records or albums or whatever, and Gorillaz did the hologram thing way before Vocaloid did, so clearly they're the original and more successful, so they win this music battle. <laughs> it was so dumb. Uh, then I had He-Man versus Zorn, because I love Zorn. I wish it got more seasons or episodes. I know how terrible it was, but I loved it anyways. <laughs> Uh, Inkling versus Squid Girl. What might possibly my most highly requested matchup that I also never got around to. Ippo versus Joe Yabuki. I really wish I got to this one. I actually really like this thumbnail too. It sort of has this old anime-esque filter to it. This, mmm, looks so good. Uh, Iron Fist versus Geese. I don't know what the connections here were. They just both looked cool. I like their character designs. Like, the character designs reminded me of each other somehow? I don't know. Uh, then Iron Man vs. Samus. Obvious reasons for that matchup there. Korra- or <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Katara. Katara vs. the Ice King. This is a horrible stop match. Don't know what was going through my head at the time. <laughs> uh, Kenshiro vs. Might Guy. This is also one I really wanted to get around to. I think Might Guy wins just barely. Like, very barely. Uh, then Klonoa vs. Sonic. Rip Sonic. Kung Fury vs. Sagata Sanchiro. This is gonna be another April Fool's episode, like the that 70s show Battle Royale that I never got around to because I was always taking a break on April Fool's. Uh, Lapis vs. Flame Princess. Yay, Flame Princess evaporates. <laughs> uh, I mean, Flame Princess evaporates Lapis. Yeah. Lucario vs. Neji, never got around to, even though I've had it hanging around since fictional fights. Luffy vs. Jake, also had hanging around since fictional fights and never got around to. Jake stomps. Uh, Luigi vs. Vegeta. <laughs> Not even gonna say who wins there. Uh, Marcus Phoenix vs. The Heavy from Team Fortress 2. No clue who wins there, but it's a really cool matchup. I like it a lot. Ugwe vs. Splinter. I thought this one was extremely clever. Because Master Splinter is a rat who trained turtles martial arts. And Ugwe is also a turtle. Yeah. 
<laughs> Mr. Gar versus Sexton Hale. Um, this one I thought was a really cool fight thematically because they are both highly looked up to and admired characters in their verse that are absurdly powerful in their own verse, but not quite as much in the entire scope of fiction. But they're just still cool characters. I like them a lot. And they look pretty similar too. Uh, then we have Naruto versus Ryu Hayabusa. Just ninjas, that's it. Negan versus Sam Puckett. Oh, this was going to be another April Fool's one. I was actually going to do this one this year. I was going to be like, hey, Universes is back for one episode and it's Negan versus Sam Puckett from iCarly. Lucille versus the Butter Sock. Um, but I decided not to go through with it because that would be too cruel. And also, I wasn't quite through with The Walking Dead at the time, I don't think. I still had some to watch through. I don't remember. So I wasn't done with research anyways. And I hadn't rewatched iCarly in ages. Uh, then we have Nina versus Bowser Jr., Nina Cortex. Uh, Stomp in Bowser Jr.'s favor. Uh, I just think they're both cool characters and it's a cool thematic matchup despite how badly Bowser Jr. stomps. Nina versus Trish, a boring fight, not much to say there. Nylock versus Corrin, boring fight, but Nylock, so yay. Uh, Kratos versus Pit, boring fight, Kratos stomps, rip Pit. Uh, Popeye versus Saitama, Popeye wins, yay. Ratchet versus Master Chief, don't know who wins there, but this is just Ratchet. Uh, not Ratchet and Clank, just Ratchet, because I had a different, uh, different fight for Clank against Gurr from Invader Zim, which I also canceled. So, there you go. Uh, Rayman versus Mega Man. Rip Mega Man, because Rayman has insane galaxy beats. Oh, man. Uh, Red and Charizard versus Hiccup and Toothless. This is a stomp for Red and Charizard. Sorry, Hiccup and Toothless. It's a cool matchup. It's one of those things where, of course, it's a stomp. But it's a really cool matchup, so I wanted to do it anyways. Uh, then we got Riku versus Sasuke. Rip Sasuke. Mmm. This was a promise to a friend. A close friend who I admire a lot and care about a lot. But I'm pretty sure she knows this is just a joke. I'm pretty sure she doesn't even remember that I promised her I would do this one. Ha 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 ha. Soldier versus Captain America. And it was MCU Captain America, Rip Soldier. Spider-Man vs. Izuku, Rip Deku. <laughs> Spyro vs. Ridley, Rip Spyro. Tai vs. Styx the Badger. Hmm, this is an interesting one. I don't know what was going through my head, I just thought Boomerang. I think Tai wins that one. Tai wins that one, actually. Or maybe, maybe Styx wins. Uh, but here's one of the last Disney duels. Sully from Monsters, Inc. versus The Beast from Beauty and the Beast. I think Sully won? I'm not sure. Someone else do that one. That one's a really good one that I like. Uh, the Lich versus Jinpachi. I think the Lich wins via hacks. All his crazy death hacks, but it's still a really cool matchup, and I really like the thumbnail a lot. Uh, this is a really bad thumbnail. <laughs> the Pines versus the McDucks. Thematic, another Disney duel. Uh, Tracer versus Sonic Boom Sonic. Uh, the funny thing is, Sonic Boom Sonic actually wins, and I think it's actually stronger than Canon Sonic. Rad versus Uraraka. Yes, because Rad wins. The bro wins. Sorry, Ochako. Virgil versus Kazuya, which someone else did wrong. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Wario versus Santa Claus. Something I've also been meaning to do since fictional fights uh, Christmas and fail to do every year because I don't want to make episodes on Christmas. Wolverine versus Raphael. T cool thumbnail. I really need to credit these artists who did, who, whoever, blah. I'm, I was awful back then. <laughs> uh, Jenny versus Astro Boy. XJ9. XJ9. Uh, Yoshi versus Pac-Man. I canceled this one when I figured out Yoshi won, because Yoshi's gross. And the last one, Zelda vs. Palutena, just Nintendo Girls. And yeah, that's pretty much all the Undone Universes episodes. Please do them yourself, because I'm not going to do these. Okie dokie, now why did I leave Versus for good? Well, it was a combination of multiple things, actually. 
For one, I was just getting tired of doing it exclusively because it was the only thing I was making and it took up so much time so I didn't have any real opportunities to make a lot of anything else. And nobody was watching the other stuff, so that only motivated me to try harder with the other stuff instead of verses, so I could improve on it and get it up on the same level. It was a big rut, a big drought, and I wanted to get out. But why did I never go back? And again, it was another combination of things. Some of my other stuff was starting to do better, and I found a new thing that worked really well. Talking about Crash Bandicoot. Let me show you what I mean real quick. Look at this screenshot right here. This is my most recent Crash Bandicoot video after 24 hours of being up. 17,000 views in 24 hours. And it took like 5 minutes after that to hit 18,000. Within a single day, this video surpassed every single episode of Universes ever in views, even having better ratings. And now for an even more extreme example, look at this screenshot. Stitch vs. Toothless, my most viewed versus related thing ever. Out of any show, any discussion, speculation, etc. It had been crawling its way up to 100,000 views over the span of three and a half years. Then two crash videos that are barely two months old zipped right past it and beat it to that 100,000. And this has been a consistent thing with these crash videos. Surpassing 20,000 views within a week has been an expected thing of these kinds of videos. Meanwhile with universes it was a pleasant surprise if they even scraped up 10,000 within a month or two. And my channel being bigger now isn't what made the difference. My channel got bigger because of this difference. Let's see how much this video makes in 24 hours. I'll even keep track in the comment section below. But anyways, another reason I never came back to Versus was because of the community. The debating would just get so toxic and vile and there were some genuinely rude and heartless people. Over fictional characters too. But that's also something I've been thinking about. That's just the debate aspect. I still watch shows and movies and play video games absentmindedly wondering how powerful a character is or how impressive a certain feat they perform is. Despite not being a part of Versus or caring about Versus anymore, these kinds of things still do cross my mind. I don't care about the debates anymore, but these analyses, character stat things, they're still interesting to me. So perhaps I'll give that a shot. No promises though, I'm only considering it. Either way, hopefully that gives you guys some hope and makes you want to stick around. And happy one year anniversary to the death of universes. Whee! Leopold the Brave out. Mm -hmm.